Uh, glad to have you aboard with us here. And it's quitting time. Glad you're driving home with us. We're joined in studio by Jordan Spector. The name may not sound familiar, but when we tell you the story, it absolutely will. Our friend Jeff Marks, of course, he captured uh, the most memorable moment of LSU's national championship celebration. Joe Burrow, leg cross, smoking a cigar, about to take the dais uh, in celebration at his press conference after winning the national championship. And Jordan Spector has created a canvas, a piece of art that captured that moment and so many other details of LSU's championship. And Jordan joins us in studio now. How are you, man? I am doing well. Thank you so much for having me on the show. It's our it's our pleasure. So we <laughs> talked about this with Jeff about how this all came to be with him taking the photo and how that came to pass, and then this and how much everybody it's it's doing for charity. Let's have your kind of genesis story. So you're from Philly. Mm-hmm. Are you a sports fan? I'm a big sports fan. Uh, my favorite sport is football. That's what I played growing up. So. I have a strong affinity for that, opposed to any other sport, but I love all sports, um, especially Philly. Yeah. That's, that's my city. Um, but, yeah, I mean, football, I relate to football the most because that's what I played pretty much my entire life. Um, so that's why I enjoy creating the most. You've got a lot of LSU guys in Philly as well. You, know, you got Ben Simmons. Mm-hmm. you got Aaron Nola. Uh, you recently had Donnie Jones, but mm-hmm. he's you know, now, you know, uh, now he's back home. He's retired now, but still. Um, so a college football guy or no? Well, I actually played college football at Temple University, not for too no long way. of a time, but I was a walk-on. So it was actually really cool to go to walk-ons last yeah, night. With there the, you go. Somebody had introduced me to that, so that was a lot of fun. What uh, position did you play at Temple? I played running back. So at, at, for Matt Rule or prior? Uh, Steve Adazio and yeah. then Matt Rule came in. Wow. Um, but yeah, I was I was a true walk-on. You know, we have a tryout and stuff, sure. you know, a 40-yard dash, and they essentially based on that and uh, worked out for me and made the team, but then... Not too long after I got hurt and then had to quit. And that's actually what led to me doing artwork again. So have you always, so if you're, if you're not watching, this is a time I would highly recommend you watch us on our watch app or later on our YouTube channel, the after further review YouTube channel, because Jordan brought in studio, the original canvas of the Joe Burrow painting, which we'll talk about here in a second. But so how long have you done, done art? Like is uh, lifelong? Did you study it? Yeah, absolutely. My entire life. Uh, I always tell people it's been a lifelong skill that I built. Um, so ever since I was a kid, I've just been illustrating, usually just pencil drawing and class doodling, but really just illustrating things that I enjoyed as a kid, like a fire, a fire truck or you know something I was into at that age, airplanes, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, that really just captured my eye. So when did it become a business? <clears throat> so I'll go back to that. Okay. Um, when I got hurt playing football and had to quit. That was devastating, um, and I actually use artwork as a way to kind of uh, turn negative into, into a positive, just to kind of ease my mind and, and have a hobby. Um, and then, you know, I did one piece for a guy I played with the Temple, then another, another, and then all of a sudden I was like, wow, people respect my, my artwork enough to, to pay me to do it, to support me. So it's been nonstop since then. This is five years ago. Um, I graduated in 2015, and probably the year before that is when I kind of started getting back into artwork. So... It really happened by accident, um, how I fell back into it. SpectorSportsArt.com is the website. S-P-E-C-T-O-R, SpectorSportsArt.com. So you can kind of go see the variety of work. And right there on the homepage is is legend status. I, is that what you titled it? Is legend status, the Joe Burrow painting? Uh, well, the title is Burrow. Uh, Burrow yeah, but you got to say Burrow. Remember, yep. it's it's. Uh, we, we had that conversation <laughs> off air. It's like, so you say it, Burrow? No, Burrow. The EAUX is Cajun French. So you've heard the name like Boudreaux or Thibodeau, mm-hmm. all that EAUX. If you see EA, we'll put EAUX on anything here, but it's just the O sound. So like Coach O, Coach Ogeron, they'll just put like O-E-A-U-X. I think it's a little overdone. Even a guy from here my whole life, but this is phenomenal. Appreciate that. You so got much. it. Yeah. No, I'm just the EAUX thing is, but this, the whole thing with Burrow and everything is awesome. So right, just, just go ahead. Go I was going to say, I yeah. titled that because of the game I saw when he walked down in the field. I thought that was pretty special. So I feel like that related yeah. well with what he did, what he did and what he accomplished. Senior day, so. which was a huge moment when he walked out with the Burrow, the EAUX jersey, which was certainly a nod to the heritage and the culture here in South Louisiana, or mm-hmm. I just say in Louisiana in general. So, all right. So you watch the game. Yes. LSU wins. Mm -hmm. And when do you become aware of the photo? So I, you know, I had no plans to do a painting like this. And, um, you know, I had a lot of friends like hitting me up like, dude, you got to do something with this guy. You got to do something with this guy. And then 
there was one post in particular. It was posted by like NFL memes, IG, like the main one has like a million followers. And the post, the caption was, um, uh, you know, someone needs to paint this picture and it needs to be hung in the LSU library. <laughs> Somebody tagged me in the post. They said, they said, you own this. And I was like, you know what? I think I might have to do something. So I usually don't drop everything I'm doing. I have a lot of projects usually. And I kind of just dropped everything for a week and got it done. This um, took you a week. A week, yep, pretty much straight through though. So yeah. it was pretty rigorous. But ball- ballpark hours, how long to paint it? Uh that's always hard to say, but I I want to say forty five, wow. fifty hours. Yeah, that's in- but it's I incredible. didn't I didn't like pull all nighters every night. But yeah, it was every day. Sure, kind of just grinding through. Look at the. Can we, Paul? Can you pull up the the picture? So this is the actual picture that Jeff took. When you first saw the picture, what were the details that you're like? I got to capture that. Well, I mean, it was just the, it, it spoke to me more than I just saw visually because it was just the end moment, the victory moment. And I think, like, the imagery is fun and, and some people think it's funny. And, like, but I think it, it speaks volumes to his accomplishment, which was he was relaxing and enjoying, soaking it all in, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and then there's a lot of details I added just based on what I was inspired by from it. Yep. I did a lot of digging before I really wanted to jump into it because I need I need that extra extra inspiration if I'm gonna do something out of the blue like that. So let's talk about some of those details. Uh, and Jordan Spector's with us. He's the artist from Philly who did the the burrow painting, taking the the picture that Jeff Marks took and then did, painted it on this canvas and has added so many other details. So it's it's here with us. And if you're watching, you're seeing it. Uh, let's talk about some of the details that you added and why. So, uh, like I said, I wanted to backtrack and and dig into his history and mm-hmm. like really, I, I knew the story a little bit, but I hadn't watched the full Heisman speech and watching that was really touching and uh, just reading articles about him and even subtle things such as um, his phone breaking the week of and him not caring, yeah. saying it's game week, like doesn't matter. So I thought that was really special that that is a testament to somebody who is super focused and everybody should learn from that who plays a sport, you know what I mean? Um, but, you know, I wanted to add the Heisman Trophy. That was mm-hmm. a huge accomplishment. I wanted to add the trophy, and I even put the 15-0 yeah, on there. Yeah, I see it. And the, the O is the is the championship logo. Yep. yep. Yeah, so I, there was a lot of thought that went into it, and then, like, I just want to add something up there so it had a good uh, flow to it. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was cool. And then the note that I added is really what kind of yeah. – talks about the piece the most and really his uh his journey we'd have to kind of hold <clears throat> we have, let's see paul's got that shot right there paul can you get go wide on us here paul so we can pull that up if you have a can you or just come yeah, there you go all right thank you all right, all right so there at the, so it. yeah i got I, <laughs> it already fell okay. once i was so like right there bottom center is the note which says you can't do it you won't make it which which is you added so give us the the idea there so going through it all, that was kind of what I took away, and, and I didn't, couldn't really think right away of what to say. But to me, that's saying, you know, that's the ultimate statement of the criticism or what people were saying to him directly or indirectly through his career, um, which is that you can't do it, you, you won't make it. And yeah. I was listening to audio, some of his uh, stuff after the game, like saying, nobody, uh, I was like, nobody thought I could do it. I, I told you so or something like that, you know. And that was kind of just like the ultimate – Thing. Joe is definitely a guy that is uh is it will, will p- point to his critics and laugh in their face after he he achieves and he's he's achieved a lot obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, I gotta ask about the hat because this is something a lot of fans ask about, right? I've seen. So uh, I'm sure you have. So Joe wore a hat post game which had a, a slogan on it which was a I don't know if I'd even say vulgar, but it was you know my it was a. Uh, adult in nature mm-hmm. and you changed it to to the national championship hat why, why did you do that and not stick with the original well, hat? initially i actually didn't know what it said on it oh you can see it i couldn't see it <laughs> and then someone told me as i was working on it and i was you know i'm just gonna stick with what i'm doing yeah. i wanted to add that because that's what it would work the game i thought it was cool to have that iconic yeah uh, imagery in there so um in hindsight would you have if you'd known from jump would you have done it I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I just, well, I just, and the reason I ask, it's just, every, I mean, every artist does what they do to their own interpretation, right? So mm-hmm. it's like, I, and you'd have reasons why. I'm just curious. You're just curious. I mean, it's it's beautiful either way. I just, I'm, you know, people have asked about it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I would have, um, but that's what I went with, and that's what I stuck with. So, 
Um, hope people like seeing it and yeah. enjoy the artwork for what it is. Dude, it's awesome. Um, I mean, it is it is a it, to see to see it here. The original here is is fantastic. I mean, just to see the pictures online is great. To mm. see this, and you you know, a lot of people have ordered them and taken pictures and posted them as well, yes. which has been really cool. Yeah. I really uh, appreciate that. It's a spectersportsart.com, but the stories we all know took another turn as well because you and Jeff connected and decided to do something really cool as well. So if you would walk us through sort of how the you all selected the the charitable endeavor that that's going to bet that this painting is going to benefit. Well, it was really awesome and he connected with me and I, it was like a blessing in disguise that, that happened because I sometimes I just do it and and figure things out after mm -hmm. but I really just wanted to get the painting done and I was just so focused and inspired initially so I was like really grinding it out and um, then luckily Jeff and his people reached out and um, after watching the Heisman speech in particular I heard him talk about the food drive stuff in Ohio right. so I even wanted to do some sort of donation to that particular uh, food drive and then when Jeff came, he actually said, hey, listen, actually, we can split this up to two amazing foundations, which is Dreams Come True here in Louisiana. Yep. And then the Joe Burrow Fund, uh, which is the Athens County um, Fund yeah. in Ohio. So I think that was even better because that's, that's what um, Joe Burrow's dad thought was, was best. And Yeah, how uh, cool that the Burrows are on board with it. You know, it's, yeah. like, it's like the centerpiece that the family and everybody's kind of got, you know, s sort of lob their support behind, which is really cool. It's been amazing. So um, it's been a lot of fun. Have you gotten to meet the Burrows? No, not okay. yet. Okay. Yeah. Yet. Joe's a little busy right now. He's uh, yeah. kind of preparing for what's going to be a pretty massive <laughs> uh, event in his life, you know, with the combine and then what's obviously to follow. Mm -hmm. So, so you're here in town. What, what else? I, obviously you're here to visit, which is great. What else are you doing while you're here in town? Um, tomorrow, um, I just want to kind of check out LSU's campus. I've heard great things about it. Yeah. I just want to take a little tour. Um, it's going to be cold, but actually probably fine for you being yes. from Philly. You'll this be is actually warm for me. Yeah. This would be okay. So, like, had I'm you been okay. here, had you been here earlier this week when it was 75 degrees, you'd have been mm -hmm. like, holy hell in February. That's yeah. What I was hoping for, but that's <laughs> what we all kind of hope for this. Summer. It'll warm up. Soon. I hear you. But, um, yeah. And I really want to enjoy the food, the Southern comfort down here. Just all the great things I hear. Uh, friends have been giving me recommendations. So I Appreciate that. Um, apparently, I came on a good week. A lot of uh, festivities going on with Mardi Gras. It is. Mar so you're you're gonna go down to Mardi to uh, New Orleans as well, right? At some point, yeah, I'm gonna spend some time down there. If you uh, if you get down to New Orleans, plan accordingly because Mardi Gras is a re it's a it's a really significant thing in the in the city. Like it's gridlocked. You're gonna just plan accordingly. Okay, <laughs> if you're if you're making your way into into the city. Uh, over the weekend for any of the parades or anything. So uh, what else surrounding the painting, though, that, that, you, that you have going on? Do you have any other, like, uh, appearances or anything like that that you're going to be doing? Um, you know, I did some stuff with The Advocate, one okay. of the main papers down here. Yep. They they reached out to me to do some stuff. Really cool. Uh, so they're doing, like, a story on it. Um, other than that, you know, a couple, like, individual people that wanted to meet me and stuff. So yeah. I've just been kind of stacking up my schedule as much as I can. And Here you just have fun. I've never been down to the south. I've been to Florida, California, but nothing in between. So you you came at a a truly spectacular time to be here, uh, being that it's Mardi Gras weekend. Even if you stay in Baton Rouge, the uh, Spanish Town Parade is this weekend in Baton Rouge downtown, which is a, a sight to behold in and of itself. But it, soak it all in. Jordan Specter on Twitter, on uh, Instagram, is it is it at is it Specter Sports Art? No, it's Spectre actually art? at Specter underscore Art. At Specter underscore Art on Instagram and Twitter. On Instagram and Twitter at Specter with an O S P E C T O R at specter underscore art and then the website is spectersportsart.com if you're on the home page and i'll scroll here if you're on the home page you just scroll down right on the home page and you will see the burrow painting right there and you could shop it's di so different sizes and then um you can do a canvas or a print right yeah you can get on on canvas which is nice you can hang it right on the wall with a wood wrap and then also a flat print if you want to get framed so everybody has a preference but yeah yeah. Very cool. And remember, a portion of all the proceeds are going to be benefit both the Burrow Family Fund in Athens, Ohio, and Dreams Come True of Louisiana. So you're benefiting, you're getting a great piece of art, and you're benefiting two amazing organizations. So, dude, it's so cool when stories like this come together. Glad you made time to come see us here in studio as well. Thanks for bringing this. This is sensational, man. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. It's, it's, uh, the pleasure is all ours, man. People are reveling in this championship, and I'm sure will for. For many, many years, and they'll have this uh, to accompany them as well. This is a beautiful piece of arts. Thanks for coming in, man. Thank you.